what's going on, what's going on, thanks for watching that Studio 5 and Hi-Fi Photo, thank you guys again for joining me for an episode of What's in Your Studio, and this episode is a special one called uh, Five uh, Finds of Five, it really, it'll give you an opportunity to kind of look inside my psyche of, of craziness when I think about photography and how I structure photography when I look at different looks and things like this, is that I love to find different um, features uh you know artist books um you know i can do some stuff online but i love going to find books the things that's already printed so you can really see the richness of the colors um because it, it, you know in different time frames that, that's very important to an artist to really see what they're getting especially in print so the person i wanted to and the book i want to kind of talk about today here as you can see on the screen is called kathy newman she is a uh you know an author and she she also she was a photographer she had um put this book together of leading um, women of photography in the early 1900s uh, into the late 1900s. So, which is a, quite amazing. This is, I mean, this is in my time frame. I was born in the 1970s. So a lot of the era of the 80s, 90s, <clears throat> and late 90s of photographers, you will see some of this stuff. You know, this is stuff I saw instinctively, you know, through probably articles, magazines, things like that. As a child, it kind of helped me develop my look when I thought about photography. You know, to know a little bit about me, you know, I started photography right around the age of uh, 10 uh, to 11. Uh, I remember taking my first photo. Uh, Walter Short was my first mentor and that he Show you know, help me to develop pictures and things like that. So that was my first introduction to it. I, I really, as a kid, video ca games came out, so interest goes all over the place. But I, I really wanted to find a way to give to this craft as I was get, getting older. And when I bought my first camera, and also too, when I would use my first camera, it was just like I fell in love with photography since then. So that passion and love doesn't stop because I have you know, there's different equipment and different things that happens. You know, I love images that, that, that speaks about things. So a lot of times uh, photographers, you know, don't get talked about, don't get mentioned. I looked online and try to find, um, the, the, you know, Kathy Newman on YouTube. Um, this, and there, there's a Kathy Newman on YouTube and it's not this one, um, but it, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't talk about this art. It doesn't talk about um, these, this literature. And I just want to introduce it to you, you know, and I go into some of the, some of some, some greedy and, and grimy bookstores to find books, you know, old, older books, things that kind of was a, a lost treasure of sorts to see aesthetics of art, aesthetics of film, because, you know, more than, than not, a lot of these images um, were in film. And then of course you can definitely tell which ones are digital. Uh, a time frame in the earlier parts of digital as well. So I really love and in, to be introduced into a world that doesn't shouldn't get lost just because we have, you know, more megapixels. We have mirrorless. We have uh, we can print really quick. You know, we can do all these things uh, at an instant. You know, we got all these social media things, and we can forget about to see that fold this uh, and how things are. So I just kind of really want to let you know this book is a real book. So please do go pick it up. Uh, I, I I found this book and I'm going to be talking about different books that I have here in my studio. I'll be doing videos like this. You will see this, but I definitely want you guys to go pick it up. Um, the I think the place I found this book, this particular book was, uh, do, 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 do. I think it was buy it again. Uh, it's not, I want to say play it again. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a used bookstore, you know, but they have so many different things in there. Um, and the stuff, if you guys, you know, can see them move them to the side, you see, this is a whole row. This is all photography books over there. And then on the shelf underneath there, that's a whole bunch of photography books. Over here is photography books. Over here is photography books on my shelf over that, that way, that way. Okay, so doing things backwards. So I, I am, I'm just not playing around with photography. I learn, you know, from school. I learned from uh, trial and error. I learned from hard knocks. I learned from other artists, um, you know, other mentors in the craft. I learned continuously uh, through the past and also to to the future and believe you as my phrase you will hear me say believe you me <laughs> um i know i'm just still a student 
And when I become, when someone else says that I'm a master of photography, I'll let them say that. I would never say that to my, about myself. I will become a student. I'm always consistently a student of photography because if I ever stop learning, then, oh my gosh, I should be gone, <laughs> you know? So, but I'm always gonna learn to love. But one of the things I want you guys to see, the aesthetics of this look, I, I did these images over here. So the, on this side here, I'm gonna get my cursor. If you can see the cursor here, hopefully you can. Um, but on this side here, that I'm highlighting these images, these are images I did this year, okay? And we originally was a couple of this month, actually. And th these images are from the book. I just cropped some, some images out of the book. And I wanna tell you, I was totally surprised because I picked this book up after I did these images. So when I saw this book, I just saw so much richness of what my aesthetic is when I do street photography, when I do journalism style photography, uh, editorial style photography, how I love a certain aesthetic in, inside the richness of that. But we're going to talk about this a little bit and, uh, and, and, and kind of really want you to what the purpose of this is it's not to tell you to go buy a book and do this i will tell you about this you can do whatever you want you can learn any way you want to but i really want to share a way that you can see something so and you've probably done it a thousand times yourself but if you see something in true form it's such a beautiful way so and it's it's a book about women photographers there's a lot of great photographers out there a lot of women photographers don't get their due I mean, it is some beautiful stuff in here. Uh, I wanted to take a look at this uh, image here. We're gonna talk about this one first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger in itself, okay? So, cause I want you to really to see it. And I'm gonna go in here and cause I wanna chop up the name. I, I remember the name, but I just didn't wanna, I wanna type it down. This was from Melissa Farlow uh, in Peru, 1990. Uh, it's called Moved by the Spirit, uh, novice at St. Uh, Catalina Monastery, uh, but a ball in the courtyard. Okay. Uh, they're about to go into a lifespan of servitude. You know, I think this is the time period that they're talking about. Uh, when I saw this, my first reaction to this was the act of the coloring the the density of the coloring the beautifulness of the coloring first and then i saw the act of the of the actual piece itself and that piece itself man was just amazing i i, I really want you guys to kind of kind of look instinctively just how this moment was just stolen in time you know she knew how to put her hands she knows what to do she knows what to do to help she knows what to do to be able to be a supporting role in her hand is just the anticipation of how, what's going to happen. This this is a real piece of reaction, you know, and I and I was just in awe of that when I saw it, but I saw the coloring. So when I was um, looking at this and I was I was seeing, seeing how this worked, I, I, I again, I did these images before I had bought this book. So I did this instinctively because I saw this image here and I'm going to bring this over. i close this one down real quick. And just if you look at this, when I did this image, this is at Seattle's oldest glass making. Um, it's like a store and a museum. Uh, and, 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 and place it where people work and artists work, uh, studio. This is one that, this is the oldest one here in Seattle. So when I was down there just doing a walkabout and just having a good time, I saw this and I saw this particular piece right here. Um, these two right here, this fire. Inside of there, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Then you see these big, these big, bright uh, spawns of light that's coming out. And I was like, how can I show this piece and kind of show it in a way that it makes sense to me as an artist and as a viewer to want to continue, continue to uh, appreciate everything about it because i mean it's it's layered with just information it's layered with you know depth it's layered with everything it says exactly as this this is layered with information and depth this window that's up here 
Um, this line of shadow that's following, we, you can kind of really tell it's it's late, it's beginning to be late in the evening, um, and how the shadows are falling falling down. Um, the I think, I think there's a, some type of bike or something back there. You can see a doorway, some type of travel. So there's there's a way to travel in the line, the appreciation of the line work as well of the the capture and also to the depth of the where the feet are at that plays a part into us getting the message, you know, getting the pull into, into it. We were very happy, very joyful for this, you know, for this moment to be shared. And I really love this image, you know, that's why I really kind of put this one on there uh, as my, that's the one that spoke to, spoke to me the most. But if you see this image, you will see a great deal of imagery that's in here about colors and tones and cultures uh, and the scenery itself. That's what an image should do for you. It should grab you in to, to, um, to talk about it years and years and years later uh, and, and gravitate towards that. The second part, even on this same image, I, I really want to talk to you guys about this image, why this image kind of impacts a lot of feeling, okay? So that was about the color and tone with this image. And then this one is about the, uh, really the, the coaxing in the time as well. And you can tell by the expressions on here, the expressions on their face, they were genuine. Um, I stopped by this window and I, and I asked this, this uh, three people, you know, with my my best way of me saying, hey, can I take your picture? I have my camera in my hand and I did like this. You mind if I take your picture? You know, and they, and they kind of agreed and I went through the, I was going really quick to get the settings took a few shots, did a couple more settings and, did, and got the shot up, the shots I really wanted. And I just love just the way the traffic, uh, like I said, the motion of this, you can see this car coming across, you can see the vehicles going across, you can see the smile of her face, you can see the guy here, which is like, would you hurry up and take the picture? It's like, it's just an emotion. These are real emotions. And she's on her phone. Uh, this is a real emotion. But I did stop and ask them, you know, I, 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 I like candid pictures, but I, I definitely love when people participate uh, and show that action with that. So I just love and then her face and her face kind of really just really gravitated towards me and the likeness of of imagery so uh, i just wanted to share that as well uh, you you have another one over here which is the gaming um again again like i said i was just so stunned when i saw this image and this you can tell the reason why is because of how the image is set up uh, these guys are playing a, a game of ping pong um, and they were just, they're, they're in the park area, they're playing a game of ping pong, and I just really love everything about this. And, you know, I really try to gravitate how my lines were, uh, where the tree line stopped right here. Um, I walked into this spot here to the way I can just trace the line of information all the way through the shot with the, seeing the gate there, pushing the gate there. And it kind of reminded me when I saw this shot again, it's information that's pushing you. There's something over there. There's something over there in this image um, here. And, and then when I saw uh, just just the aesthetics of, of time, you know, someone sitting on their phone, someone back here, you know, in a time of day still see this light, this sharpening of light, because you know, it's evening time, you see that big sharpening of light in the back, you see this big sharpening of light right here. So I was just, I, I just like I said, I just fell so much in love with this image, because it just told me so much about myself, and my photography and what I what I do. Uh, and when you find images like this, you just really just kind of you can't you, you can't deny certain uh, feelings and emotions that you have when you're doing your work as well. Um, and it's and again, it, it's just beautiful. And I, I'll go back to this one here. And the reason why I kind of gravitated towards this one, and I put this one here, uh, and I wanted want you to kind of see um, this image here. This. Uh, this is a full page image, so when you open up the book, you see both sides. I wanted to have a title in there and not kind of to have it be too over, overwhelming uh, in itself. So I want you to kind of, kind of really see uh, this gentleman has his eyes rolled in the back of his head, or he could be someone that's passed away. I don't know. You know, uh, there was a time, there's a time period that was there, the color, the depth, and everything as well. There's an emotion there. Um, I asked this model here. Again, it goes along with both of these images and how I look at time, and, I, and you know, in this image here on the cover, uh, and I look at time and I say, and I want it, I asked her, can I take, you know, her, her uh, picture? Uh, as I'm going down through um, my, my, um, my walkabout, Okay, I'm going by down through my walkabout, 
And when I tell you about emotion, about smiles and emotions, uh, we I had she she gave me a great smile. Okay, it was it was one of the things. Can I take your picture? She gave me a great smile, and it was a great picture. It was a great pictures right before this picture here. But you know, as we we're talking and 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 uh, you know me, I'm a, I'm a you know, people don't know me, but they do know me. I always cracking jokes. So somewhere along the line, you talk about stuff, and then. Um, I just keep snapping just to get a reaction, just to see what that reaction is. And she started laughing and then she covered her mouth instinctively because that's a natural thing. I know she probably does a lot, a lot. And for me to, to be able to have uh, grab that within a, a, a few a few minutes, I'm serious, it was a few minutes. Uh, it wasn't anything that I did, um, you know, that, that I practice or I say, you know, you know, this is the best way to do this. I was just inspired by what I saw in people and things and moments uh, on, on here. And I just I just I just say, hey, I'm, I'm going to have fun. So if you're a photographer and you have a hard time going out and uh, talking to people, uh, I would do a, a live video uh, to kind of show you what's going on and how you can go ahead and talk, talk to people uh, with that. Now, the whole book in itself it, uh, is going to give you a really good look uh, behind the scenes with some of the artists thinking, uh, some of their emotions that you can see here on the back of the cover here. Uh, you can see some emotional ties. You can see some of the community, community, community involvement as well, which is them talking to, you know, uh, or taking shots of different moments in time with different people. Uh, you see some sports personnel in there. Uh, you will see some, some just some, some things that will make you kind of, you know, question you as a, as a person, you know, just what you're seeing and how you, how you're seeing what you're seeing, how you're registering what you're seeing as well. So I really am, you know, just, just in awe of this finding jewels like this. So I have given you guys a lot of kind of walkthrough of some things here with imagery and why it's important to gravitate a little bit towards the back and to the front because you never know you may feel this way again and I hope you guys do uh, find some truths to uh, who you are as a photographer and it's not to tell you that you you have to shoot like this person to shoot like me or shoot like anybody else but it's really just to give you an idea of when you get stuck in the mud sometimes just go out um, and find a book um, be inspired uh, or go shoot and then find a book to get inspired. I don't know, uh, but I will be sharing many more books um, of my finds called Five with Find, uh, Finds with Five and give you guys an, an idea of, you know, just what's going on with me, what's going on in history, what's going on in the future uh, with photography. So if you guys like this video, please do subscribe, hit the button, subscribe, please uh, hit like. Um, do all those things, you know, and I would love to go ahead and keep uh, putting content out here, keep showing you because my world is photography. I am a photographer. I don't do another job and photography. My job is, well, it's not a job. My life is photography. And someone says, well, that seems like uh, just a one way th thinking. Well, you can say that to anybody who's passionate about something. I did what I was supposed to do in life so I can enjoy everything I'm doing right now, which is my passion and love for photography. So please, please do feel free to check out uh, any of the uh, my Instagram, Facebook, website, uh, social media accounts, and I would love to go ahead and communicate with you. Uh, I got some shoots coming up and I want to, uh, I'll be doing some videos of the shoots, kind of talking to you guys through some training, be shooting out some more stuff of what's in your studio. So keep a lookout for that. Up until then, you guys keep shining and grinding and I'll talk to you again. Ciao.